Hello, I am Jonah Siegman from Oregon State University. Today, I am excited to share with you our latest research on learning to climb stairs without vision or perception using reinforcement learning. Stairs are a ubiquitous feature of our society and one which robots will have to learn to navigate in order to coexist among us. However, the unforgiving nature of stair geometry makes falls especially risky and controlling robots to reliably navigate unmapped real world stairs is a very difficult engineering problem. Given these difficulties, it may seem incomprehensible that we would even attempt to climb stairs without using vision. I think some time needs to be taken to appreciate why we would even want to do this in the first place. We certainly don't want anyone to come away from this presentation thinking that legged robots should not use vision to climb stairs. We acknowledge that vision is obviously important for accounting for disturbances in the real world. That said, exteroceptive sensors like cameras can suffer from misperception, camera occlusion, or poor lighting conditions. If a legged robot relies heavily on accurate visual terrain estimates, the mistakes can be dangerous. In this work, we want to establish a baseline level of performance so that in the future, we can compare vision-enabled approaches to make sure that adding vision is strictly a net positive. In other words, how robust can blind bipedal legged robots be? The answer, as it turns out, is pretty robust. Using reinforcement learning, we were able to train neural networks to control the robot Cassie to ascend and descend stairs without the use of any exteroceptive sensing whatsoever. The robot is completely blind to the world. The only way it perceives the world is by sensing the configuration of its joints, also known as proprioception. The fact that this works is somewhat surprising, as you may be able to tell from our reactions in this video from the first time that we tried this on hardware. Counterintuitively, our method was fairly simple and a natural extension of an existing work. For our controller, we use an LSTM, which is a type of recurrent neural network. The controller sends PD targets to the robot at 40 Hz, and an onboard PD controller turns those targets into torques at 2 kHz. From the robot, the controller receives an estimated orientation of the pelvis and the position and velocity of each joint. We use dynamics randomization to ensure that the controller is robust to differences between simulation and the real world for dynamics parameters like joint damping or ground friction. The key to getting this approach to work on stairs without vision is simply introducing stairs to the simulator. We randomize the geometry of stairs according to typical city code dimensions. No stair-specific cost functions or reward terms were necessary. Surprisingly, simply stumbling into stairs during training is enough to learn how to account for them in the real world. The policies are trained for 300 million time steps in the simulator, which is equivalent to almost 3,000 hours of interaction with stairs in simulation. For the remainder of our presentation slot, we'd like to show you some video highlights of our controllers interacting with stairs. Please enjoy and feel free to reach out with any questions you might have. There's a little ridge, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. that was fine. That was like an animal. That was. Thank you.